Well, to be perfectly honest, it terrorized me. Uh, I took my first HIV test in 1985. I was given the news in a very brutal way, and there wasn't a lot of hope. There certainly wasn't any kind of um, medication or therapies available, and I was just basically told to go back to set my affairs in order. Back in mid-90s, we were facing uh, somewhere between two or even three new AIDS diagnoses per day here at St. Paul's Hospital. At least one death per day at the height of the epidemic. I first discovered Dr. Montaner because my HIV had advanced to a degree that it became critical that I got good care and he was the best around. All of a sudden, life expectancy for people infected with HIV is beginning to normalize to the point that today, 20-year-old infected with HIV will have a near normal life expectancy, an additional 55 years of a high quality life. I'm healthier and fitter than men most my age. People of my generation pretty much all died from HIV and I managed to hang on long enough to enjoy these new incredible medications. So I definitely am a survivor. Not only this has captured the imagination of our provincial government, but is now increasingly capturing the imagination of governments around the world. There are countries all over the world that are embracing this new strategy. I'm passionate about working at the BCCFE because this is one of the few places in the world where we have such a complete integration between the clinical care of HIV and research. Top-notch investigators here looking at epidemiology, population health. We have a world-class sequencing facility where we're looking at the molecular genetics of the virus. We have seen AIDS incidents decline by nearly 90%. This has really fueled the global enthusiasm for us to go forward with the treatment operation strategy. We came up with a new global target, the 90-90-90 target. It basically says that by 2020, we want 90% of people globally diagnosed, 90% of the people who are diagnosed on treatment, and 90% of the people on treatment to be virologically suppressed. By the year 2030, we will be in a position to decrease the burden of HIV disease, HIV and AIDS, globally by at least 90% of 2010 levels. We want to be uh, strategic, be opportunistic, and go after high burden diseases with treatment operation strategies that would allow us to decrease the burden of disease, the burden of transmission, and in doing so, ultimately, do for them what we did for HIV. St. Paul's Hospital and the BC Center of Excellence has given me back my life. I've been able to have hope that has transported me into a better place. And I believe that anyone, if they're facing a life-threatening situation, has the opportunity to transform their life into something richer and stronger.